Okay guys, you, you guys are going to have to mind the noise, I'm sorry, but it's part of my video. But anyways, um, today I'm going to be talking about my battery backup unit. Uh, it's a UPS, basically. Um, it consists of a... Two, actually. This is a 2000 uh, P... I mean, 2000 continuous 4000 watt inverter. We have another uh, inverter for another one if we want to. We're using Maxwell 2.5 volts, 2600 farads. We put them in a series with each other. If that's right. Um, at, to make 560 farads at, five, at 12 volts. I'm sorry. We got some 2 gauge wire with uh, these nice um, uh, leads here. Uh, nice giant hookups. See these lugs and stuff on the bottom for here. I need to hook up the ground still. Then we have uh, this uh, 16 amp, uh, 12 volt power supply, and it is variable. It goes down to about 10.6 volts or something like that, all the way up to 13.5. Okay. Then we have our little uh, LED control circuit up here, which consists of a 40 amp and a 5 amp relay. Uh, then we just got a transformer to run that other relay. And uh, right now we are running a laptop which pulls about uh, 70 watts of power depending on what it is. Or it can pull anywhere from 70 to about um, 100 watts. And then we have that over here, my Xbox 360. Sorry, I'm auto-focusing. But uh, anyways, uh, that pulls about 120 watts. So total we're pulling about almost 200 watts of power. And... Uh, running off these boost caps and stuff, and our voltage is 11.19. This has a nice fan on it. Uh, this has three fans that always run, you can never shut them off, which is really retarded. But yeah, um, so let me walk you through my setup. So basically what we have here is we have our charger, and I do need to get a charge controller, but I just haven't gotten one of those. Basically we have a charger that uh, um, goes positive, wise, whatever. Uh, we have a nice little coupler though down here. Um, sorry, you can disconnect it if you want to. Here, yeah, possibly, and I know this is supposed to be on the positive, but I put it on the ground. But anyways, uh, then we got our uh, nice giant 40 amp 12 volt relay here. Uh, now this relay here, I, this is the controller relay, and this is the charge relay. Now the controller relay um, provides power to this relay. So we aren't back feeding power into our um, unit here. Now, how th now what would happen if we didn't have this? But I, I can probably just put a giant diode on here and drop the other transform and all that. But I don't know, maybe. But anyways, um, what uh, it's supposed to do is this um, charge uh, controller setup I have here. Um, when this gets when this loses power, it makes it so these capacitors can't back feed into here. So that's why this transformer is here. So when this drops out, it turns off this relay so it won't go into our uh, power supply here. Now when the power kicks back on, it does take about half a second or two seconds for this thing to kick on. And uh, so yeah, so then when it gives it power to this relay, then it provides power because the power is back onto there. It goes to the bridge rectifier, as you can see here and then goes through here. Now we could get a 110 volt relay, stuff like that, but yeah, I've just done this. But anyways, sorry, my TV's decided to start playing something. Um, so then we got our negative here, uh, just two quick disconnects. We got our 110 volts that runs to there and the wall. Now I would unplug this, but then I'd drop down and then I'd shut off a whole bunch of things, so yeah. Well actually, I think I am gonna shut off my Xbox, so I can show you that. Um, actually, I'll do that right now, and then we'll bring it up to temperature, so just give me a second. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so now we should be climbing up a little bit in voltage. Yeah, I'm just going to let that climb up. I don't think it's going to climb up very far. Yep, it's going to climb. But anyways, so we can turn on this one if we want to. Uh, tells you our watts that we're pulling on this one. Output of voltage, input voltage. I'm just going to let this one climb, then I'll unplug the power. Okay, so anyways, 
after we left our charge controller closed down. Right now I just have these two hooked up onto our uh, alligator clips. But they go in, they charge up the Maxwell uh, boost caps, as you see here. Uh, which those back there run off to the other inverter. Then we take our two gauge wire that we have. Now the reason why this is long is because I'm getting two giant 200 amp uh, hour batteries I had to put over here. So yeah. Anyways, so then we got our two gauge wire that runs into these other two couplers. This is negative, this is positive. As you can see down here, on, move this over really quick, on our nice two lovely lug nuts down here. Now I do need to hook up the ground, but there's one of the fans. Uh, the other two fans are actually up inside here, and that connector just fell off. Okay. So yeah, and it's actually not really warm, but this, god dang it. <laughs> But, uh, so yeah, okay, so now I'm going to unplug this and show you that it still runs, but that LED there will turn off. So there we go. So you can see our power is dropping because this thing just turned off. Now I'm going to shut up and you'll hear the relay click back on. And we have restarted, and the power is climbing back up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask, and just uh, really quick. But uh, we got our overheat uh, and overload, our power switch, our um, uh, voltmeter, and our amps that are coming out of these down here. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys later.